There are a thousand different ways to run a design business. Solo, agency, retainer, subscription, one-time projects, lead gen, the list goes on and on. Now what doesn't get talked about a lot is that most of these models are actually broken and if you use those models, you're just setting yourself up to fail. So in this video, I'm gonna break down 12 very specific business models used by designers. And I've given each one a grade based on four factors. Experience needed, workload, revenue potential, and difficulty. And I'm willing to bet that by the end of this video, if you stick around till the end, you're going to go back and change something about the way you're running your business that's going to help you earn way more money. Okay, so the first two business models, we're not gonna waste any time on because these are what I would classify as F grade, or in other words, these are the worst business models you could possibly use. The first is a typical hourly gig model where you take on projects and you get paid based on the number of hours that you work. Now, I hate this model because you get penalized the more efficient you are. What I mean by this is if you can accomplish in one hour what would take other designers 10 hours, you're going to get paid less than those designers that are less efficient. Now, the second business model is just being a low budget option. And a lot of new designers do this because they think that it's going to help them find more clients. So what they do is they find the standard market value and then they just undercut that on their prices and they become the cheapest, most affordable option for design. Now this is a mistake for a lot of different reasons. Being the cheapest option not only brands you as the lowest value, but it also attracts the worst types of clients. So at all costs, avoid these two business models. The next four business models are classified as C grade. They're definitely viable, but they're certainly not the best option. If they're done properly, you could probably make six figures as a designer, but you're going to find that these are the most commonly used options, and therefore it's really saturated and difficult to find clients. So the first option is just your standard design and development business. So these are designers that charge anywhere from 500 to $5,000 for a website. They sell it as a package and they make a contract with the client where they do the design, they do the development, they deliver it, they get paid. Now this model works and most people use it. And so it's not impossible to succeed this way, but you'll have to remember if you use the same business model as everybody else, it's going to be nearly impossible to set yourself apart. The next business model is a website marketing bundle. Now I used this business model for about a year and I was able to find some success with it but I pretty quickly reverted back to other models because this one was a lot of work. So to explain a bit more about what this is, instead of just charging for a website, I was bundling the website in with some sort of marketing services. So rather than selling a website for $2,000 and then trying to upsell people on monthly SEO, I would group those together, make it a 12 to 18 month contract, and I would tell the client that it's just $1,000 to get their website set up, and then for 18 months, they just have to pay me $600 per month. So over the course of this agreement, they would not only be paying for marketing, but they were also paying off the website. Now, I really liked this option because it was an easier way to get longer term commitments. What I didn't like is I didn't make a whole lot of money up front and it took a long time to collect on the value of the website and then to start profiting off of the marketing efforts. Now this can certainly be resolved by just charging more, but the more you charge for these longer term retainers, the more difficult it's going to be to find and sign new clients. The next model is the build, rank, and sell model. I talk about this in several other videos and this is one of the models that probably has the greatest upside but also the largest risk because what you're going to do is design, develop, and then run a marketing or SEO campaign for a website without having a client that's willing to pay for it. Instead, what you're going to do is be very specific and strategic about the industry or niche that you build this website in. And what you're going to do is grow this asset to a website that's getting a lot of traffic and could generate potential leads for a specific client. And then you're going to reach out to a company in that industry and say, hey, I've got this asset, this website that has a ton of traffic that will be perfect for your business. I'd like to sell you this website for a million dollars. Now acquisitions like this might seem kind of crazy, but they're actually more common than you think. There are a ton of marketplaces online where you can sell websites and blogs, and sometimes the sales prices are pretty absurd. So again, there's a lot of upside, but this does require a lot of experience beyond design to be able to actually turn these into sellable assets. All right, this next model is the pay to use model. And this is a model that can work 
but only at scale and only if you find a ton of clients. So the way that this works is rather than selling a website for any sort of one-time fee, what you're doing is you are building the website basically for free or a small startup fee, and then you are renting it out to the clients. So you would build the website and then tell the client that they can use it within a certain monthly agreement and it's going to be 50 to $100 per month to rent the website. Now, what I don't like about this is if the client cancels within the first few months, you're not gonna make any money and you might even lose money on this. What I do like though, is you're basically getting paid to build an asset that you own. You own the website, so if the client cancels, you can keep that website and then utilize it for one of these other models. You can sell it to somebody else, you can sell the leads to another competitor, or you can find another client within that same industry and just repurpose the website for them. All right, so the next four models are B-grade models, which means they are a lot more profitable, they're easier to run, and these are the models that you're going to wanna to focus in on. Now, the first model is the premium agency model, and this is something that can be difficult to achieve, but extremely profitable and fulfilling. There are several of these agencies out there that have branded themselves as the top tier, highest end design firms, and their prices are astronomical. And the reason that they can get away with charging these prices is because they have built up a reputation where clients and prospects believe that it's worth it to be able to work with that agency. Another benefit of having a premium agency is you are going to get treated like a true expert. There's a lot of clout or recognition that comes with running an agency, but you need to remember that it's not always as profitable as everyone makes it seem, especially if you're building a team around you, this can be really difficult. So it's not something that you just wanna dive right into, and you certainly can't just start charging 50 or $100,000 per project right out the gate. Instead, what you're gonna to have to do is start with one of these other models, and as you get more experience and you build your portfolio, you're gonna be able to increase your prices, grow your team, and eventually reach the status of premium agency. The next model I wanna talk about is the lead gen model, and this can be extremely profitable, especially if you set up compensation in some sort of revenue share, meaning however much revenue you generate for the client, you get a percentage of that. Now, the only way that revenue share works is if both parties win. So what that means is you need to be able to guarantee that you're gonna generate revenue for the client, and you also need to know that the client is going to be good on their word to pay you your specific commission. But if the agreement does work out, both parties are extremely motivated to generate the leads and to close the leads. Now, with this business model, you wanna make sure that you're not helping companies sell cupcakes because your margins are gonna be so razor thin on that that your commission's almost going to be nothing. So instead, you wanna focus on selling things like HVAC or tractors or solar panels or security. Try to find a niche or industry that is somewhat untapped and there's not a lot of competition, but where the margins are huge. And so every sale, you could get hundreds and even thousands of dollars in commissions. Now, very similar to the other model that we talked about, the buy rank sell model, you're going to have to put in a lot of legwork up front before you ever make money in this. You're going to have to design and develop the website, you're gonna to have to get it ranking, you're gonna to have to figure out what type of marketing efforts you're going to put into place to generate traffic and leads. And then once you've done all of that and you've proven that you have the leads and you can have success, you're going to have to find somebody that wants to buy the leads. Now this might seem overwhelming, but once you get to that point, it's pretty easy to go into somebody and say, I've got a ton of leads that are gonna be perfect for your business, would you be willing to pay me just a regular commission as if I was a salesperson? And as long as those companies are able to take on more work, it's gonna be a no-brainer decision for them. Now, if you're wondering how to build a site up to the point where it's getting traffic, what I would recommend is picking the right niche or industry and then building a directory site. Or in other words, you're going to recommend multiple different companies and products, and you're just going to put out good content and get it ranking for organic searches. And then once you get to the point where you're ready to sell these leads, you can block the lead flow from everyone you are recommending and then reach out to them one at a time, show them what you've got, show them how valuable it can be to them, and then strike a deal for the leads. The next model is what I call the facelift model. And this is a really good opportunity because not everybody wants to start and build a website from scratch. And a lot of clients don't have the time or the budget to redo the entire thing. With that said, the majority of websites on the web 
are outdated WordPress sites that have outdated plugins and the design is atrocious. So rather than trying to sell them on a new platform or a completely new website, offer to do a quick facelift on their website. This is lower commitment, lower budget, and the turnaround is gonna be much quicker. Because of this, it's gonna be way easier to sell and you could literally knock out 20 of these in a single month and still have time to work on other projects. So if you're looking for an easy way to help people refresh their websites without having to take on an entire project, the facelift model is gonna be perfect. The next model is the duplicate and migrate model. And I've actually done a lot of these within my agency and they are incredibly easy. Very similar to the last model, there are a lot of websites that are on outdated platforms like WordPress. And there is a huge need to move websites over to newer platforms like Webflow. Now this niche is almost completely untapped and the way that it works is you are basically going to rebuild a WordPress site in Webflow. It's going to look exactly the same and then you're just going to run through a migration process to make sure when they move over to the new platform that they don't lose any of their rankings or traffic. Now I've created an entire video on how to do migrations without losing any traffic. So you can check that video up here in the corner. But there are so many benefits that come with this business model and one of the biggest is you don't have to custom design everything. You're going to take the website as it currently is, and then you're just going to duplicate it over in a new platform. And if you wanna add a couple small updates or spice things up as you're making that transition, the client's going to love you for it. But being able to cut out the entire discovery and design process is going to save you a ton of time with these projects. Now, the other thing that you need to consider is Clients are extremely motivated to not lose any traffic because a lot of them have paid thousands and even tens of thousands of dollars to achieve their current rankings and traffic. And so they're going to be willing to pay you a lot of money to ensure that they don't lose that when they transition to a new platform. I've personally done migrations that only took about two days to complete and the client paid me almost $10,000. Now I know that might seem like a lot of money, but this website was getting hundreds of thousands of monthly site visitors. And so losing that in a migration would have cost them way more than just $10,000. All right, so we're moving into our last two business models. The next one has been graded A minus. This is a fantastic business model and it's one that is super hot right now and that is the design subscription model. There are tons of freelancers and agencies that are starting to transition their offer of design into an ongoing subscription. In most cases, this offer is unlimited design month after month as long as you pay your subscription fee. Now, as you've probably seen from other videos here on YouTube, the upside is tremendous. You can make hundreds of thousands and even millions of dollars if you know how to run this model correctly. But with this model, you need to be careful to not allow yourself to get overwhelmed or fall behind because it is extremely demanding, especially if you're trying to do it all by yourself. Now, the upside of running a subscription is recurring revenue. There is something incredibly nice about knowing exactly how much you're going to make month after month. You don't have to start each month at zero and every month is not dependent on finding new clients that month. There are a ton of companies out there that are sick of going through the process of finding a brand new agency or freelancer to do their design work. So if they can find somebody like you that they trust and then just keep you on a monthly retainer, it's going to save them a ton of time, hassle, and stress. So the subscription model is definitely one that I would recommend. All right, so this brings us to our last and most profitable business model for designers, and that is the niche plug and play model. Now in this model, you're not really selling design and you're not even selling a website either. Instead, what you're selling is a system, or even more importantly, results. So like some of the other models that we've talked about, this goes beyond design. You're going to need to understand marketing, you're gonna to need to understand SEO, and you're going to need to understand how to generate leads and sales for your clients. It's gonna be easiest to get proficient at this if you focus on one specific industry and you can get familiar with what works and what doesn't. Now over time, you're going to be able to build a system that is going to include a website, a landing page, or a funnel, along with content, ads, email templates, and anything else that you need to help generate sales for your client. Now, once you have this system put together and you know exactly what type of results that your clients can expect, you're gonna be able to reach out to them and say, I am the only person that does this in this industry and I can guarantee to help you generate 
$30,000 per month. Now, if you can guarantee those results, it's going to be a no brainer decision for the client to be willing to pay you a percentage of that revenue. In most cases, you can even ask for upwards of 30% of that revenue. And if it's additional revenue that the client is making because of you and your system, everybody's going to win. Now, being able to plug and play these systems into any client that you land is going to make it incredibly easy and low stress and risk for everyone. Over time, you're gonna know exactly what landing pages work. You're gonna have all of the content, all of the images, all of the ad sets, literally everything that you need and you're just going to plug it in, turn it on and your clients will see results. So if you wanna make massive money, find the right industry, create a niche plug and play offer, and then learn to get fantastic results for your clients. So that's it for this video. I'm curious to know what business model you're using. So comment it down below, or better yet, drop a link to your business, and I'll do my best to check it out and give you some feedback. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.